in today's video, we, I have, as you can see, I have a guest with me, a very special guest. He's the senior, she's the senior advocate, Dorcas Kita, and also the proprietor of DS Kita and Company Advocates. We're even shooting the video at our office right now. Thank you so much for inviting us to your office. So I'll let her introduce herself. Hello, my name is Dorcas Kita, as you've heard. I've uh, been in practice for, I think, 33 years now. I was admitted to practice in 1988. Uh, I have worked in the corporate world. I have uh, been employed as a lawyer in legal firms. And now I've run my office from uh, 1995. Most young advocates right now are unemployed. Mm. What advice would you give? I am a prophet who doesn't know them because the public from your story you have seen the way you don't have to sit down and wait for like, something to come to you mm -hmm. or just focus on law firms. What could be your advice I am a prophet who does it? Oh, right now maybe doesn't have the money to start their own law firm and they, they have been making applications and they're not getting anything. Uh, for me, if I were in their shoes, one of the things I would do is to even talk to a senior lawyer who can, without asking me to pay rent, maybe just give me a place where I know I can even meet my clients. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are people who've asked for that and they, they come here, tell them, because I have other than this office and where you sit, so they have got two offices there. Mm -hmm. One is being used, the other one is normally not being used. Yes, and if you have a meeting with your client, you're free to come and use it. It may not be very uh, uh, um, confidential and what, because somebody will come in as they are going to the other office and pass through there. But uh, at least you have someone, Some, someone you can, yeah. yeah. And sometimes what you need is where are your documents going to be served? Where are your documents going to be, um, if, where will you say you're operating from? Yes. Talk to someone, don't hide. I, I'm sure there are many senior lawyers willing to assist in the sense that maybe they may not be able to employ you. Because mm -hmm. like me, sometimes I don't employ, because when I look and I say, I'm going to be giving somebody 50K, and what is that? Or even 20K. What is that? Because there are some senior lawyers who give that money because they don't have. Mm. Yeah, because they don't have. There are some who give because we are mean. But there are some who give because they don't have. So it's just that. And then what else can you do? Lecturing. Mm. In our days, many people used to lecture in the smaller colleges. Uh, guys used to lecture in Nairobi business, whatever. Now I think it's a, it's, it's, it's a, it's a university. But ZTEC, what are those diploma courses? Is there something that you can teach? Company law, torts, whatever it is. Is there something that you can teach? Uh, banks, the training institution. Uh, I did do it myself because I had work. But uh, when us people started, a lot of people went like to KCB training school. Is there something that you can teach bankers? There are people who are teaching banking laws there. That's how they started. Just go find out, can you be able to do that? Mm. That uh, teaching. So find other opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, find other there. opportunities. Even in church, can you talk on Saturday? Can you uh, sensitize them on a, on a law that is coming up or an act or on the laws and everything? Uh, you may you may volunteer to do it free the first time. The second time, unapata kabasha. I used to, that used to happen to me a lot when I was younger and I was doing sensitization. We just decide now, I'm not going to do a act. I prepare something, I talk to them. The first time I'm not paid. The next time, I'm not going to pay 5,000. Where was I going to get that money? For me, I'm happy I've gotten that. So think of ways, and even business. There are young lawyers who sell books. Yeah, as older generation, those uh, e-books, let me see, let me have to take my book and gear it roughly. So do that, or even offer to do research. There are young lawyers who've come, called me, told me, I can do this. I'm very good at research. When I have something, I'll call them, tell them, why don't you, I want to find out this and that and the other. And the good thing with you people, within the, the authorities, you get them with it. I ask now, two hours later, somebody is bringing me what I wanted. I'm thinking, hey, after the liquor, I'm going to ask for money. Three, three weeks later is when I get, or two weeks later. But within a day, somebody has, has got. Do research. Yeah. And then volunteer in bodies like um, uh, FIDA, if it's possible, uh, crew. And I'm just talking about the ones I know. I'm sure there are many others. 
and even government bodies you you know many of us say oh you know i don't know they have not advertised anything sorry they have not advertised anything but walk into a place and just volunteer i can do this i'm a lawyer by training i mean between is there something i can do but don't say is there something i can do because many people don't like that do your research on the on wherever wherever it is you're going then go and tell them i could, I could now tell you maybe i can do this and do this and do this this is for you uh, pro bono maybe that's a client who knows they'll, they'll turn out to be a client yeah they they'll, they'll refer you yeah they refer you and and when when you're somewhere it's always easy to go, go somewhere else mm -hmm. yeah. yeah that's good advice yeah. for the problem is i think most advocates don't want to get their hands dirty that yes or like do something that People look at money first. Mm -hmm. They don't look at how you can. You, because even from you, you, you said the way, when you're starting out, you mm -hmm. don't look at money first. Yeah. You focus on building the relationship. Relationship, yes. Mm -hmm. And you, because it's what I've realized with practice is sort of building that trust. Yes. You build that trust with your client. With your client, yeah. Building trust is very, very, very important. Mm -hmm. And then what what are the low fruits that one can pick uh, when it comes up to looking for other opportunities? If you look at the whatever, where else can advocates be? Mm -hmm. Actually, I say that advocates are everywhere. Three arms of government, we are everywhere. Mm -hmm. We are the, we have our own arm of government, but even in these other two arms of government, you can be there when you can be there. Yes. It's you uh, look at uh, a body I, I, I sat on for about um, how many years? About seven years, eight years. The advoc the estate agents remuneration. I mean the regist registration board. Very few lawyers are registered as estate agents. Mm. Yet you can. What we should be doing now is asking LSK. To have a memorandum with the estate agents registration board for all lawyers who want to register to register without having that uh, or to having a, a, a practicing estate agent referring you being your referee refer, because they say that is one of the many lawyers find they can't because and then you don't want to go and do a, 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 a diploma in, in a estate agency because what you're going to learn is what you already know in conveyancing and you've done conveyancing you've done commercial law so if uh, lsk and uh, erb can have a, 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 a whatever a, a, a memorandum of understanding and, and because right now we are we are exempt from requirements of the of of, of, of the act when we are doing our conveyancing but we can get extra money by being brokers brokerage is one of the easiest way to make money a lot of people in this world who are lawyers and have made money from real estate agency. And once you, as a lawyer, you should be somebody who makes, who creates relationships. Because our work, work will come because of relationships. And how do you create the relationships? Networking. Networking is not just, people think networking, clubs, yes, it will get you uh, work. Playing pool. Playing pool and what else it will get you work. But I've got lots, lots more better work. I walk in Kabira every Saturday and the amount of clients I've gotten for there, including foreign clients, are many. Walk, hi, hi, what time? Next time somebody says, oh, that's a nice jacket and oh, conversation. Oh, by the way, what do you do? Oh, you're lawyer. Like, yeah, we were thinking, my wife and I, or my husband and I were thinking of buying a property and we didn't even know what to do. Can we, already they've seen you there. There's some level of a relationship. Mm -hmm. So you go out and volunteer. Mm -hmm. I ask the young lawyers to volunteer. Um, I am I'm one of those people who's not very keen on, uh, as a young lawyer, for a young lawyer getting onto the council of LSK. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you why. And uh, this is advice I got for many years ago. And because I asked him how come he served as chair of LSK for such a short period and we never went back to the council and everything else. And he said, grow your business, get a foundation, then get into the things of law. Serve on committees, serve on safe committees, quote unquote. Say, then now if you want to get into the politics of law because of LSK, because LSK is a political body, whether we like it or not. It's uh, the politicians are always interested in it. What you do if you're a council member or you're a, a, a chair or vice chair and what and what and what, you'll be dealing with a lot of politicians. 
so what I did for myself, because one of the questions that comes in from young lawyers is like, you seem to have served in different places of LSK. I started with the committees and I am a welfare person. I love things to do with welfare. My first committee to serve on on LSK was the welfare committee many years ago. Uh, that was my first uh, uh, committee to serve on. I went on to serve on to the gender committee. Uh, then now I got on to the disciplinary uh, committee. Disciplinary committee, the interest uh, to serve on the disciplinary committee was created by um, uh, the former AG. Mm -hmm. He was serving there and was like, no, we need people like you to come and serve. And I said, why not? So I put in my name and uh, I, got, I got elected. Then I got re-elected. Then from there, how I got into ABA was what I was seeing happening at... Uh, at the uh, uh, disciplinary tribunal. Yeah, people who are coming there, no fault of their own, or somebody has an alcohol, uh, an alcohol problem or whatever, then they can, they are not themselves because alcoholism is a disease. Then it gets them into a problem. My issue was how do they, do we assist these people? Because out there, he can't go to the society and tell them I'm alcoholic. They notice there's something wrong with him, but he can't maybe, or even they can't assist him because he's supposed to be the brain, brainest man from the village or brainest woman from the village. How can he be having, he, she be having a problem with alcohol and everything else? He has the answers. You are a lawyer, you have the answer. So I thought, no, these answers are within us and we should be able to help one another. And one of the things I still dream of is at one time, the Advocates Assistance Program will actually be running where people get assisted in the event of, uh, of issues. How do you grieve? When we've had issues of uh, sexual harassment, it's been happening even when we were there, when we were young, um, uh, whatever. It traumatizes you. How do you deal with it? Your work will get affected. When your work will get affected and you fall foul of the disciplinary process for whatever reason how is it handled because you get maybe whatever you can't face the female judge or female magistrate because this female lawyer there harassed you something happened. yeah something happened that affected you that affects your work and ultimately the reputation of lawyers being bad affects all of us yes. Yeah, it's like, oh, you lawyers are cheats. Then you one or two are cheats, but you lawyers are cheats. You lawyers are what? It affects all of us. So it's like we need to work with one another. Uh, so I did my term at uh, ABA. I did not seek re-election because I was not feeling very well. I think the last two years, my last term was not a very good uh, term. I served four years. But, uh, my last term was not a very good term. I was mostly in and out of office, in and out of hospital. I missed quite a number of meetings uh, because of my health. Uh, but we need to support each other. That's one and of the things I said. Seek election now. I will see. Yeah. I will see. The good thing is that the people who are there right now are people. We, I mean, they are colleagues, so you can talk to them. Uh, the present chair is uh, a very. A very uh, a, a person old enough to know what is good for the, 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 the society and that we should assist one another. As uh, many lawyers say, I don't want, when I'm gone, I don't want to know. I want to see that help now. Mm -hmm. So whichever, how can we help now? Those are the questions that whatever. And I think that the, the things that have been put in place so far, if lawyers get into the, uh, uh, the, 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 the personal savings uh, a project and also say this retirement project, I think we will be doing well for ourselves. Yes, maybe yeah. I remember the, the CPD, I attended the one for ABA. Yes. Mr. Reed was sharing. Yes. I saw how beneficial the event is. It Just is. Just like I think we have misinformation also among the, the of its importance. Ones, yeah. Yes, you're told no, you pay. You know, imagine you pay 3,500 in a year. And it doesn't matter. People have people have joined ABA and died within maybe a year or two, and you have a child. ABA has educated your child from nursery all the way to college. There is no other body of professionals that do that. 
lawyers look after their own. I know people say, but why didn't you have insurance? Sometimes things go bad. Mm. Maybe because mm. I even, even give examples of families that they yes. support. And there are many. Right now, even among the lawyers practicing, there are lawyers that have been assisted by ABA. I'm, I have known lawyers, and even I have, I'm appearing, I'm the advocate for some families because that person was, one of their kids was educated by LSK. I've walked into an office, I'm looking for work, um, a parastate or something. I ask, and then somebody says, yeah, you are Dr. Skita, are you the chair of, when I was the chair of ABA, are you the chair of ABA? And then, uh, my dad was so and so. I don't even have to say anything. I know your name Totawa ABA. And I have gotten what I wanted. I was looking for work. He says, no, were it not for ABA, I would not be sitting there. All we need to do as ABA is map those beneficiaries. Beneficiary map. It's an ongoing exercise. We left it ongoing to know where those beneficiaries are. So that you as a lawyer, when you walk into whichever company, started by somebody who was educated by ABA, it doesn't have to be a lawyer, yes. educated by ABA, you will know that that person will even give you work. But just by the fact that you contributed to their education. Mm. You may not have given much because it was 3500 a year, but the fact that it was educated by ABA, and those guys are, all, even in the foreign service, we have about seven, no, now there are nine because of the other, uh, the other appointments, people who are educated by ABA. Their sons and daughters of uh, lawyers who passed on and ABA stepped in. Once we have done that mapping and everything, then let us now have those people also coming in. And the worst I can do, as young lawyers, I would just ask you people not to kill ABA. Don't. Don't. Sadly, they didn't mm. misinformation, but at yes. least CPD shed light to the Yes, people. and it was the first time we were having a CPD on ABA. Mm. Yeah, usually we would just go and mention it. And sometimes by the time you're given that uh, chance to mention, people have already left, so mm. the CPD was very good. Yes, because yeah. people even had a line. So a lot of questions were many because people yeah. were not, there was misinformation out there. A lot, yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you do mentorship? For anyone, yes. you know, maybe any young lawyer watching and they would want you to be your mentor, do you do mentorship? I and do a lot of that. You have my number? Yes. I think it can be shared. Okay. I Just share, share it on the, the 0722 number. Okay. Anybody can. The ones who wake up early, call me. I'm always awake between 3 and uh, I leave the house at 5, 5.30. For whatever, but I wait three three thirty. I'm I'm reading and praying. So from three thirty to whatever I'm awake, we can talk. The ones who want to talk early in the morning, the ones who are and others is we meet as I'm doing things. Ne kikua uko naenda karura. If you're there at six o'clock, tutakutana. There are those who come. We meet at the gate. Alafu tuna tuna tembea to know that we have uh, agreed that we're going to meet there. We just meet and talk. Yeah. Thank you so much. This has been me and myself as I am you have learned yeah. a lot and I'm sure the viewers will also be going to learn a lot from this. Yeah. Thank you thank you so much for agreeing to join us today. And thank you so much for uh, inviting me. I really feel honored. Yeah. yeah. So, so I thank you for inviting us yeah. into your office also. <laughs> yeah. We are agreeing thank to you. all the interview here. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you've said it's okay to share your contact. Yeah, you can share my contact. Mm -hmm. Just call, just share it. Well, it's what's up, it's what I have no problem with that. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah, and tell the person, in case they call, and I haven't picked it, then just send a message. Mm -hmm. I'm calling you. Mm -hmm. can yes, to this, to this. this. That means whatever mm -hmm. presentation and more, then I can get back to them. Okay. Yeah. Thank you.